Oh man, things are crazy, aren't they? They're really crazy up in here because with the Montreal Canadiens, they just lost. The guy who was actually willing to go out there and attack in yesterday's overtime, it was Tyler Toffoli, who actually went out there, tried to break over the blue line, he tried to do something in OT, it didn't work because he went back to the goaltender, because that's kind of the plan, it looks like the Canucks, or excuse me, the Canadians, are just trying to get to a shootout every time they go into OT, but what, you know what? It is what it is. I see some very beautiful people over here in the chat. What's going on? Oh, man, there are so many people here. It's Parth, so how you doing? Al, what's going on, EP40, Blaze Kitty, Sebastian Jara's in here as well. How you doing? How you doing? PD got placed on LTIR. I don't know if that's a bad thing. I think it's just by default because he was already scheduled to missing the next few games. Or, excuse me, the, um, the games on the road trip. No, Tyler Toffoli. Yes, indeed, Shydra. Ishan, what's going on? Soja, how are you guys doing? Julian's in here as well. Oh, he says caught Kanyemi over Petey. That's a take right there. That That's a pretty hot take right there. In Demko, we trust? No, nah, bro, it's Holtby today. Yeah. No, Toffoli. Yeah, Lincoln. Um, Holtby has the best stats in that building. Yeah, that's true. That is very true. To any Canucks fan out there who is uh, kind of freaking out because Braden Holtby is playing instead of Demko, I'm not going to say I'm surprised that it's Holtby, but at the same time, the commentators were talking about it the entire broadcast yesterday, that, like, you know, Braden Holtby has a winning record in the Bell Center. He's got, like, the best numbers of his career in that building, which is really interesting. I don't really know if that really plays a part into how it's going to go, but you know what? Superstition is indeed something that does exist in hockey, so... Vancouver is screwed, Epic Gaming says. Oh, I don't know about that. But yeah, let's go uh, turbo mode up until the end of the chat here. Holtby's in net. Yeah, Nick Walsh. Hope he's going to be pulled. Oh, boy. I love the optimism there. Jaden, what's going on? Maxime Laforest de Fede, how are you doing? Price X NHL. Mike, five-game winning streak here. Come the Canucks. Hopefully. Hope, we'll, I mean, not hopefully. I mean, like, I cheer for both of these teams, right? So I don't know if I want to say hopefully just yet. But, uh, you know, I'm looking for a good game. That's, that's what I'm looking for right here. What's up, Lego? Yeah, what's going on, man? I'm doing pretty all right. Um... Habs wouldn't have gotten a goal yesterday if it wasn't for the refs. Honestly, uh, yeah, the refereeing was really bad in yesterday's game. So many questionable calls for uh, Montreal. And that's coming from a guy who is, like, you know, actually kind of cheering for Montreal as well. So, was good, bro? Chicago times? A lot of things are good, you know? Nice, bright and early here. I actually woke up at, like, lunchtime today, which is good for me. Not really normal for other people. But you know what? It is Saturday, so it's fine, I think. I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. How you doing? Lego, what made you support Montreal? The fact that when I was at BCIT, there's so many, like, French-Canadian friends that I would have over there that are, like, Habs fans. And I was always kind of making videos about the Montreal prospects in general. So when it came to talking about the Habs, it was actually easy to apply some of the knowledge that I had into those discussions. And as a result, you know, talking about Domi and how he was breaking out and talking about Gallagher and asking what's happening with Galchenyuk and all that stuff. You know, it was like, it was really easy to identify with that, uh, the Habs crowd. So after lots of discussion, lots of learning about the team and all that, it was easy to actually become a fan of it. So that's kind of why I'm a Habs fan as well. Why isn't there Tyler Toffoli? Lower body injury. That's that's what the Renault Lavoie said. Um, last game between these two. What's up? What happened to Toffoli? Yeah, we just mentioned that, Jack. First time here in a live stream. Brent, what's going on, man? Thank you so much for being here. Happy to uh, be a part of your first live stream experience here. Last game between these two. Oh, really, Maui dude? I didn't know that. I didn't know that it would be the last game between these two teams. Interesting. In Miller We Trust, Mike says, Miller's been clutch recently, man. He really has been. In VC We Trust, too. Kevin Pollock, please mercy. Holtby, no. The bye week is coming up. Demko should be in the rest of the way, especially because this game is so important. It is really important. Yeah, absolutely right about that, Braden. Habs commentator didn't even sound alive in the overtime winner. Yeah, I noticed that too, Al. I noticed that too. They were getting really hyped up about Josh Anderson coming in on that breakaway. He's, oh, he missed the net, and then Miller comes back. When Miller was doing the toe drag around Suzuki and Tatar, 
the commentators for Montreal were still talking about that Josh Anderson shot. And then when Miller scored, they're just like, oh, scores. Like, you could tell the energy was there the opposite way. And I'm not gonna, that's not a bad thing per se. It's just, it's super noticeable. And as a guy who does do play-by-play once in a while, it is kind of funny to know that the biases do exist. But yeah, it is what it is. Same refs, VC and, L- and Mott legit switched up. Hi, I watch your video since 2018. Hey, thank you for that, man. I appreciate it, Emilio. Is Caulfield your favorite prospect? Yeah, pretty much. I guess so. Um, I think we got to get four plus goals for this game to win. Yeah, I mean, the Canucks need to start scoring more goals. Like, they've been winning, yes, but they've been winning. Like, they've all been two goal 60 minutes. Like, they've all been getting two goals in the span of the game and then a third either in the shootout or overtime. Like, they need to get three plus in regulation consistently now if they actually want to get a chance to, like, you know, be stable in this position here. I mean, they've been getting great goaltending from Thatcher Demko, don't get me wrong, but, like, you know, you can only rely on your goaltending so much, right? We must hype Holtby, guys, not make him feel bad or he'll be trash. The first goal shouldn't have counted. Roussel didn't even touch him. Yeah, that we- that was a weird penalty on Roussel. Boys, I want to say something, Al says. In my discrete math algebra midterm, I got a 23%, but the class average was 11. So my 23% was an A-. minus. That's crazy. The bell curve, dude. <laughs> bell curves are crazy, dude. Congrats, Al. Habs commentators are annoying. The Canucks ones are good. Today, I was able to pull off my own version of a Michigan. That is awesome, Michon. That's awesome. Name not found, Gus. I bought an 85 Kreider for 1250 and I sold it for 36 That's great. That is absolutely great. That is work in the market on hot. That is finding ways to make coins over here. And uh, yeah, you got to learn how to do that if you want to make consistent money, especially as a free-to-play free to play player here on Hockey Ultimate Team. Yeah, I don't like the Canucks commentators, Maui Dude says. Uh, we're talking about Jack Edwards, too. Moisey, yup, I love your videos, bro. I hope you have an awesome day. Hey, you too, man. Thank you so much for hanging out with us here. I appreciate the support, Moisey, yup. I very enjoyed your updates from every game. I come, come to YouTube after every game. Brent, that means a lot to me, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Guess that Suzuki card yesterday paid off. Yeah, he scored the goal, which allowed the Habs to get an extra point, which is super valuable at uh, this time in the season. But, uh, yeah... You know, speaking about Hockey Ultimate Team, and um, the trick is I have no life to be good in hot. Nah, Gus, that's all good, you know? As long, even if you're a free-to-play guy, you can still go out there and you can still consistently make money. Because Hockey Ultimate, like, look at these cards over here. You can see the amount that I'm selling these for. You just gotta look for whichever cards are on the market for a good deal. This Marcus Naslin I bought at 99000 um, sold it for 118000 you just got to work the market, see what's actually there, see what you know people are going to want to buy. This Marcus Naslin card, I posted about this on Twitter. I've bought and sold this Marcus Naslin card six times. Here, this is in the last seven days, right here. This is in the last week. Here's one Marcus Naslin. Here's a second Marcus Naslin. Here's a third Marcus Naslin. Then if we go a little bit more forward, this is all in the past week, by the way. Here's a fourth Marcus Naslin. Here is a fifth Marcus Naslin. And then we have ourselves a sixth Marcus Naslin, all selling for different prices above 115,000 coins, some as high as 100,027. You just got to find the deals, you know? EA Sports, it's in the game. NHL 21 is played by a lot of Vancouver folks. There are a lot of people here in Vancouver, the lower mainland, that play this game. And since you know that, what do Canucks fans like? They like Canucks. So they're going to go out here looking for Marcus Naslund, which is a Vancouver Canucks legend. Nick Walsh, thank you so much for the 99 over there. 99 for Lego Rocks 99, the gift that keeps on giving, popping up over here. The Brad Marchand crying gift. It's one of my favorite gifts of all time. Thank you so much, Nick. I appreciate that, man. But yeah, you just got to find, you know, supply and demand. See what cards people want, buy them at a cheap price, and sell them for a profit. Because... If you do that over and over and over again, the profit adds up, and all of a sudden you're sitting here with 500,000 coins that you don't know what to do with because you can buy whatever you want on the market. So, yeah, you just got to work it, you know? Just understand what exactly it is that people want. That's the number one rule of, like, business and buying and selling. You buy low, you sell high. Um, all biased commentators are annoying. Best commentators of all time. Hey, Lego, what is your prediction of this following game? I have no idea, Jaden. The fact that there's no Toffoli is a big deal. The fact that it's Braden Holtby is a big deal. 
So I really don't know. If you ask me, I'm not really too sure what's going to happen here. It could go either way because both teams are going to be pretty desperate, I would think. So, yeah, okay, let's play a hot rush game. Who do you think are top four in the North and what's your order? Oh, that's tough. I got to think Winnipeg is in there. They're too good to keep out. 20 hits, hot rush game, 20 shots, five goals. Okay, let's see if we can do that. I'd say Winnipeg, um, probably Toronto second now, I guess. I said Toronto and Montreal's one and two. Um, back before the season started, but Montreal has been really falling off. I'm not sure about the rest of it, though. Like, I, I can easily see Edmonton falling out. I can see Montreal falling out. I can see things staying the way that they are, you know, but... Yeah, I have no idea. Oh, did we not create our lineup for any of these yet? First to three wins. Okay, let's create our lineup. When Hughes was slowed by Tatar, John and John really had enough of the revs. Yeah, John and John were really upset with the referees last game. They really were. It was really noticeable over there. I think Armia will be replaced with Caulfield and Yelonen. Oh, Yelonen is a great one. Jesse Yelonen is absolutely um, fantastic as a hockey player. Um, Besser getting a hat trick tonight. Oh, man, we will see. In the title, it says Tafol. Oh, it does. Let's go ahead and change that. Thank you so much, John, for the little correction there. All right, there we go. 98 out of 100 characters. There we go. Thank you so much, John, for the uh, the heads up there. He says, hey, legend, buddy. Legends all around over here. We've got 70 beautiful people. John's in here. Wonderful uh, um, uh, mods are in here as well. Al, uh, Sebastian, Jara, Gus. Thank you so much for being here, guys, before the hockey game. We are going to lose. Not to, not only Toffoli is not playing, but we are wearing the blue jerseys. No! Are they actually... Oh my gosh. I can't believe they're actually doing that at this time. Come on. Montreal Canadiens, dude, out there wearing the blue, the cursed blue jerseys. Because obviously that's going to be a great uh, thing for them to win, right? Oh, that's unfortunate. I feel bad now. Okay. What do you think of the pairing of Hoagland or Horvat Besser? I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. I thought that entire top six was really good, like, to be honest. Oh, do we have to have defense? Can we just have a forward? Yeah, let's get Howie in there. Yeah. Hey, Lego, hope you're doing well. Jetfire, thank you, man. I appreciate that. I am doing well. Hope you're doing well as well. Oh, do we want 2D? No, we don't want 2D over there. Let's get uh, him here. Then, I guess, no, we'll replace him with another left-handed forward. How does Marcus Naslin sound? How does that? Yeah. Marcus Naslin? Can we get Marcus Naslin in here? Yeah, let's get Marcus Naslin in here. Hey, Lego, what were your thoughts on the officiating yesterday? It was terrible. Like, it sucked, dude. It was so bad. I could not believe how bad that officiating was. Like, I don't want to be one of those guys who's just talking about the refs over and over, but, like, the calls for Vancouver, not great. I guess you could say it's compensation for what's happened in the past, but, you know, every game's a new game. I don't really like thinking about it that way. I'm going to go now. Go Canucks, go. Thank you so much, Nick, for stopping by. I appreciate your time here. Have yourself a good one. Let's uh, um, let's uh, have some fun watching the game later, right? Um, yeah, Habs reverse retro. That's right, it's the retro. They're cursed. All right, chat, what is your favorite NHL goal of all time? Mine is the 2016 Tavares overtime goal in Game 6. That's a great goal right there. You know what? Um, <laughs> I could be a really big troll and just be like, oh, uh, um, uh, I don't even want to say it. Favorite goal of all time? Probably, this is a weird one. Alex Burrow's wraparound in Game 2 in the Stanley Cup Finals. I was watching that in my kitchen with my family, and, like, we freaked out afterwards. Oh, the Canucks were up 2 nothing in the Finals, and then we all know what happened after. But, yeah. That's probably my favorite goal of all time, just, like, watching it live. Hey, Lego, remember me? Yes, I do, Top Shelf Pulls. Do you think the Canucks are going to be in the playoffs this year? I have no idea, dude. No idea. What are we doing here? Oh, we're trying to get 50, or excuse me, 20 shots and 5 hits. Is that what it was? Yeah, okay, let's try to do that. Malkin. What's up, Lego? Nice haircut. I appreciate that, Sip. That means a lot, man. How you doing? Most annoying fans to you. I'd say Flyers, Habs, Toronto. Ah, uh, I think Bruins fans could be kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie. I think Canucks fans can be really, really pushy. Like, Canucks fans, they're so cynical and, like, argumentative to the point that, like, it's not even really worth engaging with Canucks fans if you're not a Canucks fan and you don't understand the pain. 
but yeah. I don't know. Jets have the best reverse retro. Canucks got a sprite can. I don't really like the Jets one, to be honest. Like, the grays, I think it could be a lot, like, more dynamic, I think. But that's just me. I honestly really like the Canucks ones because it's so, like, ugly. Like, I kind of like ugly-looking things that are, at the very least, bold. Um, Nico Sturm can't clear. Chris Tanev scores from the point. That's a great one right there, Sebastian. It's crazy to think that was just half a year ago. Oh, man. Ayo, hey, that Burroughs wraparound goal is my favorite, too. Yes, Jack knows what's up right there. Al's coming in here, though. All right, let's see it. There we go. The Marshan gift that keeps on giving. Popping up over here. Thank you so much, Al. A throwback. My favorite goal is JT Miller undressing three halves for an overtime goal. Ah, the good old days. That was so long ago. Yeah, dude, I remember that goal when it, like it was yesterday. That was a really good one. Honestly, that was like, that's probably like top seven goal of the year-ish. Like if Barzal wasn't in that conversation, I think JT Miller would have a strong like stance. I agree with those five, Lego. You have to throw in Oilers fans too. That's true, man. Oilers fans can get obnoxious as well. Especially when you're talking about how good Cole Caulfield is, they will always come in here and talk about how good Holloway is instead. And how Caulfield is only like, you know, good because of Holloway. Another super in here. Thank you so much, Al, for the extra support. He says, Maxime Lapierre, game five goal was elite. Dude, you know, I was watching that, like, recently because Maxime Lapierre was on... He was on a show in Quebec. He was doing some reporting, talking about Taylor Hall or whatever. He's actually been a pretty big media personality in Quebec. But, like, after seeing Maxime Lapierre do his thing on TV, I was like, you know, let's watch that goal again. That was literally, like, two days ago. But yeah, the play was so calculated, you know? Burroughs intentionally goes wide. It pops back out on the other side. And right there is Lapierre. He doesn't even shoot it, like, directly into the net. It goes off of to um, Tim Thomas's like, arm or whatever. But yeah, dude, it was crazy seeing all those, um, those Boston goals. Those are probably, like, the most memorable goals the Canucks have scored, like, ever. Aside with, like, the Burray goal. You know what, which one I'm talking about. And then... The, uh, the Dragon Slayer goal. Wait, no to Foley? Yeah, no to Foley tonight, man. He's got a lower body injury, so take with that what you will. Have you ever been told you look like Nick Suzuki? Yeah, Nick Suzuki, Nick Robertson, Sebastian Ajo. That's like the big three that I get. I guess once Jason Robertson becomes popular, I'll get a lot of him too. No way to Foley goal in Vancouver with that between the legs on a defender. Backhand Rufik goal is top three. Oh boy, that's a mouthful. I didn't know Lego did a pregame live stream at 3. Yeah, normally I'm not awake at this time, but you know what? Ever since going to Whistler and being forced to wake up early, <laughs> it's been a little bit easier to do that. We're just trying to get 20 shots on goal here. And 5 hits, I think. Let's, tr let's try to get the hits. Oh, that's offside. Maxim Lapierre finger is my favorite finger in the league. Yeah, dude. Maxim Lapierre biting the thing off. My favorite goal is the um, the Pacioretty goal in Game 4, Round 1, 2014. Why can't the Habs play like 2014? Sweeping the Tampa Bay Lightning. Ah, oh, man. The good old days when the Habs would make the conference finals, right? The good old days. Vegas fans are annoying. I don't know, man. Vegas fans... I don't really interact with too many Vegas fans, aside from um, Louis VGK coverage. And he's an absolute beaut, so I don't want to... Yeah, I'm not really too sure on that one. Maybe because you're a Sharks fan off brand Phil. Maybe there's that uh there's that animosity coming from that direction. Um, who do you think will be first in twenty twenty three? Bedard or Mishkov? It could go either way. I'm kinda leaning towards Bedard because his start in the WHL has been so good. And and this is a big and this is another really big important part. The fact that Matve Mishkov is signed with his KHL team until twenty twenty six. That's going to be a big deal no matter how you slice it because if NHL teams are going to have to wait a year, they're not going to draft Mishkov like if they have a chance to get Bedard, who is going to be like, you know, arguably at the same level of skill and who might be in the NHL sooner. You know, like NHL teams, especially ones that are rebuilding, they want to turn things around fast. So, yeah. Um, did you know you look like Jason Robertson? Okay, Nathan. Okay. <laughs> 
Um, what happens if the Foley lower body injury? Habs are the kind of team that lose because they scored. They get scored the first goal. I mean, the Canucks were always losing after getting the first goal again, so I'm happy that they're starting to turn that around. Granted, it's been against Ottawa, but the other one was against Montreal, so I guess there's some light there. Yeah, you look like you look a lot like Nick Robertson. Everyone says I look like Flurry. Oh, that's a that's a good one actually. Hot take hockey, John and Mark Andre Flurry. Yeah, I can kind of see it. I can see it. That one makes a lot of sense to me. How many shots have we got? We need 20 shots on goal and five hits. Okay, we've got nine hits and 27 shots. Okay, so let's go ahead and end this game here. Oh, trying to end it right there. It's an equal game since then. We have no PD and no Toffoli. That's, that's kind of true. Never met a Florida fan. You know what? We do have a few Florida Panthers fans that check into the channel once in a while. Usually when we talk about Florida Panthers stuff. Go figure. It's funny how that works. But uh, yeah, we've made videos um, talking about... Who was it? Oh, we made a video talking about Alexi Heponyemi back in like 2019 and how I thought he was going to be good. We had a lot of support from Panthers fans on that one. How do I not know who Jason Robertson is? He has 21 games played and 16 points. He is Nick Robertson's older brother. And I'm pretty sure everybody knows who Nick Robertson is because obviously Nick Robertson playing for Toronto made his debut against Columbus. Center of the hockey universe right there. Everybody was talking about Nick Robertson back then. His older brother, Jason Robertson, is very good too. Um, Vegas fans don't have anything to cry about. I mean, you got a point there. You got a point there. Um... Sharks fan, off-brand feel. Yeah, he's a Sharks fan. He always uh, chirps the Canucks every chance he gets, which I appreciate because it shows some of the competitive, loved spirit over there. But yeah, um, we'll find out soon if Jordan Harris will choose to join with the Habs or not. Very interesting. Yeah, it is really interesting. Um, we'll see for sure. What else do we need to do? Oh, we need to make twenty hits, not five hits. Okay. 20 hits, 5 goals, and a hut challenge. So let's do a hut challenge, try to get 10 hits, and try to get 2 goals as well. Let's do that. So 10 hits, 2 goals, in a hut challenge. Let's see if we can do that for today. Florida is a team no one should hate. Yeah, honestly, like, Florida's fine, you know? They've been down there for so long. I think if any team deserves, you know, actually having success, it's Florida. What good, what good times are there to buy cards in the auction house in BC? Um, I, I don't know. I usually find good deals late at night, like at like midnight. Because when midnight comes around past like 1, 2, 3 a.m., like you've got people that are just wanting to get the coins. Like they're, they will sell their cards at a lower price because they want to get coins, either because they're grinding, they're looking for packs, they're trying to get gold players or whatever. But yeah, um... That's why you have to be patient when you're, like, selling cards. Like, you can't just expect to become a millionaire overnight. You have to really be patient with it. Rangers fans only get salty when people bash on our youngsters. That's kind of true. I mean, doesn't every fan base? Um, Hurdle is such a lovable guy. Great personality. Yeah. Just realized there is a game. Indeed, Bangle. There is indeed a game. All right. What was our goal? Ten hits, two goals, something like that? Oh, okay. Let's, uh... Try to get those hits over there. I hope Harris joins the Habs. Me too, dude. Me too. Cole Lind has a chance. Will the Habs lose tonight because of the reverse retro? I mean, if they do, it's going to be because of that, right? Is it bad? I'm sitting in a camping chair and watching your stream during the stream. Uh, what does that mean, Nathan? I, I don't follow. It's like what happened with Tampa where they got swept. I watched the draft in that Sharks pick in the first round with my heart a bit off, off brand fill. The Sharks pick in the first round play with my heart a bit. Oh, because of Timo, yeah? Is that Timo or Hurdle? Who is better, Huberto or Barkov? I don't know, dude. They're both really good. I like Barkov a lot, but Huberto, I think, is really underrated. I honestly think Pinto will win the Hobie Baker. Really? Okay, there's a conversation to have there. I really want that new 95 Koivu. Oh, yeah, it looks like a great card, dude. A lot of these new 95s, the 95s and the 94s, like, I'm really surprised they made a 95 Enstrom. Like, Toby Enstrom, of all people, is getting a 95 overall blockbuster, or excuse me, a moments card? That's pretty interesting right there. Hey, Nick Suzuki, Jimbo Bra says. 
What's going on, Jimbo? Oh, there's a big hit right there. Can we get 10? Is That, that was our goal, right? 10 hits. Um, VC coming to BC. Hope his goals are greasy and makes him look real easy. I love that right there. That's some great uh, uh, poetic licensing over there. You're good at NHL 21. Hey, thank you. I mean, I don't really... I think, like, for most people that casually play this game, I'm pretty good. But, like, compared to the actually, like, really competitive people who play this, like, I'm really not that great. I'm still working my way up the ranks because I just started playing online again. But, yeah, I'm looking for hits in this one. We need to get 10 hits in this game to get our hut challenge complete. When do you think Cole Caulfield will join Montreal, and when do you think he'll have an impact in his first... as his first year with the team? Oh, man. Oh, do I think he'll have an impact? Yeah, I think he will. Like, I would be surprised if Cole Caulfield got less than, like, 15 goals in his first year. Like, that's just kind of how much I believe in the guy. Especially considering the Habs, like, overall makeup of the roster doesn't really have a top, like, number one, like, player. Like, Toffoli is good. Don't get me wrong. The, like, he's got 17 goals on the year. He's good. But when you take a look at all-stars in the league, you know... Do the Habs have their version of a Matthews, of a McDavid, of a Pedersen, of a Gaudreau, of a Kyle Connor, of a Shifley? Do they have that? Suzuki should be that, but he's not that now. Toffoli, he's slow. I think he's, he's, he's really slow. He's really good at shooting, but like, I love Toffoli, but I don't know if I would put him in that same boat. I know numbers-wise he's there, like quite literally speaking, but like in terms of the dynamic that he has when he plays, you know? I think they'll give Caulfield every opportunity, especially since he's shown that he kind of deserves it. But yeah, I want to see a 95 overall John Scott. I don't know if he's in the game, man. I don't know. EA Sports, we don't know if he's in the game. But yeah, it was that um, Ozzy Weissblot pick. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, because of the sign language when they made the pick. Yeah, that was really great. Great story over there. Oh, no, we missed the empty net. Uh, I tried uh, saucing that one in there. Um, Svech or Aho? Oh, boy. Long term, I'd say Svechnikov. But Aho, you can't go wrong with Aho either. They're both great players. All right, let's just try to get another hit. All right, wait for him to get it, then charge into... Oh, no, we missed it. Okay, there we go. That's a body check, I think. Did we get 10 hits? We need 10 hits. Uh, we got 10 hits. Perfect, 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 perfect. Um, Elias Pettersson isn't a premier center. He is not elite. He is elite not on McDavid, Matthews, dry side of level. Okay. Um, if we win, we are in a playoff spot. Other question, do you think Holtby is feeling a bit mad? He is not getting the starts. I mean, I don't really know. If, uh, obviously, I'm no mind reader, right? Like, I'm, I can't, uh, like, answer what Braden Holtby is feeling as a guy. But, I'll say this. Braden Holtby probably came to Vancouver knowing that he would be in the position he is in right now, where Demko is, like, teetering on that number one spot. Like, if he came here without knowing that, like, that's your fault, buddy. You signed here for two years or whatever, and you didn't know that, but... I think he probably is just aware that that was the situation that he was going into. Let's open a pack, guys. We got a pack here. At least two gold players. Let's do that. McKinnon had very few points in his first three seasons, so I don't know. That is true. Anyone want to buy a Team of the Week campaign for less than two coins? <laughs> Take eight coins on hot. Gus advertising his uh, things right here. McKinnon was always touted as a potential elite center. I mean, Pedersen kind of is too. Um... Sorry, I mean, is it bad sitting in a camping chair and watching your stream while working? Oh, while working! I don't know if, I don't know if it's uh, if that's um, all too great if you're doing that on the job. But you know what? You do you. Um, viewer discretion is advised. I guess we'll say that. Okay, what gold? Pl look at this goalie mask. Oh, look at that! The Belfast Giants. That looks so cool. Can we make that bigger? I want to make that bigger. Let's see if we can. What does that look like? Oh, is it in the frame? No, it's not in the frame. Now is it in the frame? Uh, yeah, no, that's the best we can do. That's a very cool looking goalie mask. Um, looking like Brady Kachuk missing that empty net. Good old Stefan move by Lego. Yeah, pretty much. 
What's up, Toffoli? Yeah, Habs fan highlights. What's going on, man? Nice to see you in here. All right, there we go. First gold player, Mike Amadio for the Kings. Saskatoon Blade, Sasky baby. Gatineau Olympiques. Beaulieu. Okay, that's former Hab right there. Didn't the thing say... Okay, yeah, no, it said at least two gold players, so no, we didn't get anything here. Did you know Ottawa rejected a Taylor Hall for Cody Cece trade when Hall was on Edmonton? Yeah, we made a video about that, actually. Like, I swear to goodness gracious, we made a video about that. Um, Taylor Hall to Ottawa. That would have been cool. Can you speak a little bit in French for Montreal fans who is there like me? Uh, sure. I mean... Uh... Oh my goodness. Je ne peux pas uh, parler en français uh, très bon, mais uh, uh, je, je peux comprendre un peu de français. Um, parce que um, j'ai étudié uh, le français pour uh, cinq ans dans l'école. Something like that. I don't know. Please, correct me in the comments or the chat if I was wrong about that. Uh, hello from NYC. What's going on, Alex? Dude, I miss New York. I was in New York in 2018 for a school field trip. We were there for a week. I missed it. Or, excuse me, um, I miss it. It was really, really great. Hey, Lego, do you know the story on why Roy left the... Or, Wa left the Habs? Yeah, because they didn't pull him when he let in all those goals. As the baseline story. There's a lot more to it. I know that, but yeah. I think we can all agree like it will easily fill the void left by Toffoli, right? Oh, man. Oh, man. Best wishes. This is bold, but I want something for the Habs. Not a lot. Sign Subban to a 2.53 year deal and make a deal to acquire another scoring winger. Wow. Maybe just maybe bring back Domi. That's some GM mode right there. Habs fan highlights. Hey, bro. We need to be comfortable watching a Lego stream. Hey, Nathan, you do you, man. You do you. Um... What do you have to do for a mod? Do you have to donate or participate a lot? Just curious. Just got to be here, Bangle. Um, show up. Contribute to the environment in a positive way. The thing is, though, the way this chat is, like, you guys can see it right there. You guys are all cool. We've got a great chat over here. Some great people. I see some very nice uh, conversations going on. It's not really super toxic, you know? We don't have um, a whole bunch of hostility going on. It's just normal. So when it comes to the mod job... I think the mods that we have right now, they're doing a fantastic job, even though their job is particularly easy because it's not really all too nasty in this chat. Maybe once the playoffs come, maybe once the, uh, you know, actual game streams come along, maybe we'll get out there with some more moderator jobs, but we'll see as things go on, right? Um, there's an 83 Gallagher for 100k? Really? Let me see that. I need, I need to see that. I like the Vertanen penalty. Someone has been owing your team, poking at your goalie, punch him in the face. I have no problem with that. Okay! That's a very, uh, you're like the, one of the only people I've actually seen have p a positive vibe towards that, Al. That's really interesting. As for me, personally, if, if I was Vertanen in that situation, like, I probably, like, I, I don't know what I would have done. But, you know, it would have been really easy to just say, okay, well, why would you take that penalty? But, I don't know. You're very good in French. Hey, thank you, Isaac. Oh, do I speak Spanish? No. No, 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 no. I don't. Know nothing about Spanish. I apologize. Probably for a trade or someone is buying coins. Yeah, Sebastian's absolutely right. That 100k Gallagher is just there because somebody bought coins. Something about the halves, defense helping him out, not helping him out. I was here when Sebastian Jar wasn't a mod. <laughs> LR99 history. I was the first mod. Cough, flex, cough. That's a pretty big uh, flex right there, Gus. Not gonna lie. We had a Royal Rumble match for, mo for mods. Okay. Look at this, though. This guy's not even in the NHL anymore. Oscar Fantenberg pulled out of the uh, the silver reroll right there. That's cool. Man, miss me with some Oscar Fantenberg. I honestly thought it was pretty okay. I thought it was all right last year. I thought it was better than Ben was. But, uh, yeah. Oscar Fantenberg, man. What a name. Bro, I'm starting to remember my French class. Je m'appelle means my name is, yeah. It's actually interesting. Um, yeah, je m'appelle is like, I am called. Translated literally, but it's different in French. How do you buy coins? Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, Gus, probably not best to, like, uh, disclose all that on here. Because I don't think it's really all that, uh, that legal. But you know what? It, it is something that some people do. Although I will not endorse it. 
especially for me as a free-to-play player, I'm just good enough with building my own wealth with buying and selling cards at a good profit. I'm playing Be a Pro in NHL 21. That is awesome. If I write comments in French, will you understand? I might, honestly. I, I might. I'm a lot better at reading French than I am at speaking it. Reading in terms of, like, understanding what people are talking about. That's kind of it, but yeah. Um, let's see if we can find uh, a card to, to flip. Oh, is did something not sell? Yeah, something didn't sell here. Pierre-Luc Dubois. Anybody wants to buy a Pierre-Luc Dubois blockbusters with a spark and two wingman? Go ahead and buy it right now. <laughs> It's up on the market. Um, do you go to a university? If so, which one? I graduated from BCIT, from the Radio Arts and Entertainment Program. It's a two-year course, and I graduated a year ago. I was there after high school, so in 2018 to 2020, and now I am here using the skills that I have learned, having um, a job that kind of relates to those skills. Because radio, broadcasting, you know, learning how to talk and all that, it's kind of hand-in-hand with YouTube, I think. Um, I miss the streamer Lego Cave mods. When does PD come back? I have no idea, dude. We had a TLC match for the mod, and I climbed the ladder and got the briefcase, which had the mod contract, and Rey Mysterio's song, Son's Custody. Oh my goodness, that's a throwback, dude. That is a throwback. The, uh, the fight for Dominic all those years ago. Eddie Guerrero, Rey Mysterio. That was funny. Actually, no, that was funny. Not funny, but, like, it was weird. But you, you get what I'm saying, right? You get what I'm saying. You see, this is the thing with these Marcus Naslin cards. If you see one that's up for 100000 you buy it. You buy it right away. 100000 or lower, you buy it. You put it up for 100000 15 and it sells within the next two days, and you get, like, an extra few thousand coins in profit, you know? It's kind of how you do it here. Is it illegal to buy coins? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. I'm a Habs fan, and I think this game is going to be an L. We'll see, Arban. The My Canucks, they need the points. They need the points. But you know what? Montreal has a very important three-game series against the Edmonton Oilers next week. That will also decide a good part of their fate. So if Vancouver can beat Montreal, and if Montreal can just beat Edmonton over and over again, I'd be okay with that. But you still have to go out there and find a way to get dubs in that blue jersey, which is not easy to come by this time around, you know? So, uh, yeah. Hey, Lego, is there no Toffoli? Yeah, no Toffoli tonight, Sam. What do you do at BCIT, and is it expensive? Um, I paid about, I think it was like 2000 no. I think it was like three-ish. Three to four thousand a semester, I think. Something like that, I forgot. But, uh, yeah, what did I do at BCIT? We just kind of... We learned skills that apply to broadcasting, building a social media presence, and uh, doing radio stuff. What in the world is going on here? Um, if we do not win, we're screwed. Why don't they just play Fro Leak? That's true. Fro Leak has just been sitting around, not doing anything. Try to give the guys some playing time, you know? Let's see how that goes. Okay, that's overpriced. 288 for a 91 overall, yeah. Oh, he's got distributor, though. I don't know. Um, I'm just kind of scouring the market here for cards that might be valuable. Canucks legend in the chat, Artem Chubarov, yeah. Have you listened to the new John Scott podcast? I actually haven't. I'm, I've, wow, I didn't realize that he actually had a thing. That's a, that sounds like it'd be really interesting, though. I'm sure he's got a lot of stories to tell. Best team in the Central. Um, I don't know. That's tough, dude. Central's been a lot more competitive than I thought it would be. Like, I thought it would be Tampa's, like, to completely just take over, but nah, it's really not. Like, Florida's doing really well. Chicago is unexpectedly doing really well. Oh, here we go. Is this a card right here that we want to buy? Um, ah, I don't know. I don't know. Jacques Plant, the next one is available for 212 This one's 199 If we buy this one and sell it at, I don't know, 209 with the tax... Yeah, no, we'd be losing money if we did that. No, we wouldn't do that. Hope he wasn't very good his last two games. Yeah. 842-839. Can't blame the defense, but he made... You can blame the defense, but he made mistakes giving the puck away. Yeah, that... He's had some weird moments like that, dude. Like, accidentally th accidentally throwing it up to, like, Matthews and all that. Granted, there's, like, a lot of Canucks problems with those transitions as well, but yeah. 
Um, Charlie Conacher, Ed Belfour, Ernie Jeffreon. Okay. Salani is over here. How much is the Salani? This is a pretty expensive one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Habs will lose an OT again. If the Canucks win today, we're four points away from the top of the division. Oh my goodness, yeah. Looks like it. Looks like it. Um, did DeFoley get benched? No, he didn't. He's he's out. Like, he's injured. Rick, I'm starting to betting on OT losses, which is like eight times the bet. That's really risky, but you know what? It's been working, I guess. Second half of the season is going to be very interesting. Yeah, it will be, Alex, for sure. For sure. In my 2021 franchise mode, my fourth line is Gadjevich, Goddat, and Lind. Great players right there. I'm a big believer in Cole Lind. Can't wait to see what that, what that guy is able to do. Hut, have a good one. All my buddies always called me Artem. I'm not very creative, so I chose this game for PSN. 15, later, 15 years later, I can't pull myself to change it. Dude, the olden days of PSN. That's why my username is the way it is. LegoRox99. That's my PlayStation username all the way back in like 2008 when I made my PSN. Or excuse me, 2006. Yeah, I made it in 2006. Yeah. Um, are you capable to read when I write? Yeah. Um. Are you capable? Are you? Are you capable? Are you? Are you capable to read what I? Yeah, I can. I could vaguely understand it. I think. Hey Lego, usually I don't watch these live streams because I'm an Oilers fan, but I just wanted to say keep up the awesome videos. Hey, thank you, Lucas. I appreciate that, man. Oilers fans have gotten some love earlier on the channel today with our video talking about Dylan Holloway. Now, I will say that one was a little bit tongue-in-cheek, but you know what? It is kind of is what it is. It is kind of is what it is. It is what it is. Thank you so much for the kind words, though, Lucas. I appreciate that, man. The North Division is close because the Leafs slowed down. Yeah. They really did slow down. It's kind of funny how that works, but yeah. All right, let's try to... Let's see if we can find any prime times that are cool. Buy now range. I've got 500,000 coins. Actually, we've got 499,780. So let's do that. Uh, overalls. Let's say minimum overall, uh, like a 90. And then we'll say like that. Okay. Not... No, not, not um, icons. Let's go to prime times. Prime times are really easy to flip because they, they come out every day and you can only get them for those days. So, yeah, it's a lot easier, I think, to find, like, deals for primetime cards, especially for big-name players like Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl, for example. Canadians are going to win. Desperation. We'll see, man. This is a must-win for both teams? Yeah, it absolutely is. Absolutely a must-win for both teams. Okay, there are too many on the, on the market. If Caulfield doesn't win the Hobie Baker, yeah. Oh, man, things would be so weird if Caulfield didn't win. Um, okay. Oh, this Chara card actually looks pretty nice. I, I wanted to get this card earlier, but it was out of my price range for the longest time. I have enough to buy it now, but I don't need it now. Um, Holloway almost had 38% when I last looked. Oh, really? Okay. Because when I... When I when I looked last night, it was 50%, which is absolutely insane. But yeah, not surprised that things have calmed down a little bit. Okay, 285. Um, uh, et que, est-ce que tu penses que Carey Price est toujours un des meilleurs gardiens de la Ligue? I think he is, dude. I think he is. Like, when he is on his game, he is definitely one of the best. And at the time that he is, like, the past few games, you know, he's been doing really well. He's been doing really well. I remember the Wii days. I used to make my favorite players as Wii characters. That's really, that's, that's charming, dude. That's charming. All right. Let's see how much the Stamkos is going for. One, two, five, one, forty. Nah. Who is this new guy replacing Lego? Oh, it's because of the hair, isn't it? Yeah, I, I, don't worry. I see ya. I see ya. I know what you're talking about right there. It's the hair. But what else is going on here? Hobie Baker fan vote doesn't affect the vote much overall, I heard. Yeah, something like that. It's just kind of like a suggestion. So it isn't really like the most important thing to have your guy, you know, on top in that way. But yeah, 91 overall. 250 with wingman. A distributor on that, and I mean, Spark is going to be really good on this card, but I don't know. 250,000, 
by now for the other one is 335. This one looks like a deal, dude. Kind of looks like a deal. If we put this up for 299, I think that's a pretty good profit right there. I really hope Ovi scores today to extend his goal streak to six games and the Caps win to extend to an eight-game win streak. Yeah, it's crazy, dude. They won all these games without Tom Wilson. Like, the absolute crazy guys over there in uh, in Washington doing their thing. Um, Caulfield to beat Demko. I'm trying to make a first round in the WHL in 2022. Oh, that is awesome, Kian. That is awesome. Best of luck to you, man, for sure. Best of luck to you. Um, okay, let's see if we can get this 250, 335. Oh, boy. When was this card issued? March 20th. Oh, February 26th, this one was. Okay, um... Oh, boy, I don't know. Is it really worth it? I'm kind of feeling doubtful about it. You know what? If you're feeling doubt, don't buy it, so... Bergeron. That looks like a pretty good deal. Um, is the game on SportsCenter TSN tonight? I'm not sure. Really not sure. I would here in Vancouver. I would assume SportsNet because every game is on SportsNet. Almost every game. Hey Lego, I went on an hour and twenty minute walk. X two games. That is awesome. Walking is very healthy for you mentally and physically. Sometimes all you need is just some time to uh to yourself outside in the wilderness going out and about, seeing the beauties of nature. This ain't LEGO Rocks 99, it's LEGO Pebble 69. I got family, I got snacks, I got the stream, I'm ready. Bangle, that sounds like a great way to spend your Saturday afternoon, your Saturday evening, wherever you're located. Here in Vancouver, it's the afternoon. Montreal folks are experiencing this in the evening, but yeah. What more could you want? Snacks? Family? The hockey game? We're going to end the stream off in about seven minutes off here, but yeah. Um, I'm really excited to see what happens, for sure. Really excited. Ovi playing the way everyone wants him to. Don't buy. There are so many better players to flip because of stats and synergies. Yeah, I was kind of feeling iffy about that one, too. That Claude Giroux. Like, if it was McDavid or whatever, I probably would consider it more. Because, like, I mean, it's easy to see why. But big-name players always get more attention on the market. Claude Giroux, it's not 2010 anymore. Like, I know Claude Giroux is still really good, but yeah. I like this Horvat, though. It's just, he's got garbage synergies, dude. Like, who really needs Thief? Like, look, it just adds five to stick checking, five to face offs. Like, come on. Um, TSN might have the rights for Vancouver, for Montreal. Yeah, something like that, right? Uh,. Sportsnet rights for Vancouver, yeah. VC is going to light up price. I don't know about that, dude. Carry Price is tough to beat. We'll see. I'm I'm really anxious about Braden Holtby, but you know what? We'll we'll see how it goes. This one's got spark on it, though. That's really good. 380, 385, nah. Not enough margin for profit, even with the taxes. Um, they need to do something with the loser points. It's a joke that Montreal is still in the playoff race with all their overtime losses. <laughs> That's kind of true. I mean... I, I think they kind of, I thought they were, they were a good team, you know? Like, I think they kind of deserve to be in the race. It's just, the way they've been, they're not capable of winning. Like, it sucks. Especially in overtime, you know? But, I know it's healthy, but holy, I went out without socks and I got so much blush. Dude, what's going on? Where's some socks? Hey, man, how are you doing? Do you know if VC is playing tonight? I cannot read um, Hiragana, but thank you so much for being here, my friend. Um, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing pretty well, though. Thank you for asking. VC probably will play today. I think so. Pearson is still out. There's no Patterson, so I don't think they have any choices but to play, um, Jimmy VC once again. Okay, I'm kind of done with these 90s. Let's go to 93. <laughs> Let's just look, see what's on the market here that we can buy. Braden Point. Oh, we didn't see this card earlier. Yeah, we didn't. Passing Playmaker and Magician, not terrible. 239 is the cheapest. Oh, there are two at 239, okay. Um, where I live, it's so hot today and in Canada. Demko could finish this season as a hard finalist if the Canucks make the playoffs. We will see, dude. We will see. TSN has the rights, unless it's Saturday, it seems. 
Oh, is it on CBC then? Is it on like Hockey Night in Canada or whatever? Congrats on your sponsor the other day. Hey, thank you, Noah. Thank you. Oh, no, we haven't put the... We don't have a displayed overlay for Manscaped on our streams. We're going to need to go ahead and make that. Oh, actually, can we just, like, add that onto here? The stream might, like, close because my software might crash on me while doing this. But let's see if we can do that. Can we do this right here? Let us add a source... Better late than never, right? Let's go ahead and try this. Okay. Um, Manscaped, the files that we have. Done. Oh, there we go. We put it. There we go. Right there. Perfect. Get 20% off and free shipping at, at Manscaped with code LEGOROX99. There we go. My gosh. Thank you so much for the uh, little reminder there. Um, But yeah. We kind of needed to do that the entire time. Thank you, Noah. Thank you. I fully agree. Get rid of the loser point. Also, the shootout. You take a team game, turn it into an individual game, make it a 10-minute overtime, 4-on-4. Four four. Otherwise, it's a tie. Yeah, the shootouts are kind of whack, but yeah. It is on CBC. Okay, I see. Why no to Foley? He's on a lower body injury tonight. So, yeah, he played yesterday. Who knows what happened? I saw, like, I think it was Tej on Twitter. He was joking around saying, oh, maybe Toffoli is out because Vertanen punched him. But, yeah, no, I was just kind of joking around. Two Pasternak's at 274. Oh, boy. I can watch because it's on CBC. That is great. Lego, do you miss Cherry's Coach's Corner? Um, not really. Not really. Like, I understand that there's definitely, like, value to what he brought as a broadcaster, but, like, I don't really miss it. I can do without it. Like, in, like, just for me personally. Hey, look, it's my twin. One of my twins. One of the few people that people always say that I look like. Um. Sebastian Jara, what was his post? The Furlan Instagram post. Oh, what happened with Furlan? I didn't see it. Did he say he's, like, retiring or whatever? Miss the game. Oh, dude. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks. Miss the game. Can we try to flip these cards here? I'm pretty sure, like, there there would probably be a market for these cards right here. 138, 150, 145. Uh, I mean, two balance, two workhorse. That's incredible. Like, that is so good right there for a card. Like, especially for, like... Like, I have, like, a few two-balance cards. Like, this could really be, like, one of those, like, additions over there. Will Jack Rathbone be the next hammer? I hope so. Jack Rathbone is so good, dude. Very much looking forward to seeing what he can do at the NHL level. Tomas Hurdle. Okay, what's this card going for? 190? Two Swarm, two Wingman? Oh, this guy's, this guy's got crazy, um, uh... Agility, then. I don't know. Look the lineup. Pretty sad he hasn't been able to play because of the concussions. Yeah, dude. For sure. It's really unfortunate what's going on with uh, him and his whole uh, his story there. But yeah, um, I think that kind of wraps everything up then, right? Let's see if there are any cards here that we can flip in this sphere. Kirby Doc. Kirby Doc. Oh, boy, that's not really all too great. Um, Oh, Lundell for 21. That one's pretty all right. 15. Oh, there's one for 15. That's some nice profit potential over there. But, uh, yeah, I think we're going to go, guys. I think it's already four. We're going to take our time with this. We're going to watch the game, have ourselves a time. But, yes, thank you to everybody who has been in here. EP40, Jimbo Bro, Maui Dude, Ulysses St. Pierre, or St. Pierre right here, Zest, what's going on, guys? Topa Crush, or Topa Kush, Topa Kush, Kenna, Uday, Sebastian, Kent, Crusher, Bengal, uh, Logan, Mr. Joker, X2 Games. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Let's have ourselves a game, a fun time watching this game. We'll be back with a post game video talking about everything that goes on so to everybody who has been over here thank you so much for hanging out 
It's the most important game of the year for both of these teams. So we will see how things go down. So thank you so much for hanging out with us. I hope you enjoyed this stream. Social Dice Trolls 99. And bye.